If you're my regular viewer, then you may have noticed that I don't use Microsoft Edge anymore. If you go and watch my old videos, you'll see the Microsoft Edge and a couple of Google Chrome instances pinned into my taskbar, but the Microsoft Edge is now missing and it has been replaced by the Google Chrome beta. Okay, I even did a video on that why and how. For my use case, Microsoft Edge was using too much resources. That was the main reason why I stopped using Microsoft Edge. But guess what? This thing is still on my system. Yeah, because I can't uninstall it. In some European countries, you can actually uninstall Microsoft Edge. Microsoft allows you to uninstall Edge on those selected European countries. So I was trying to do the same thing, like making my installation uh, or changing some settings uh, in the system so the Windows will allow me to uninstall Microsoft Edge, but that didn't work. So that's why it's still on my system. I have changed a couple of settings here and there. Now it doesn't boot with the system. Plus if I don't touch the Microsoft Edge, it, it just doesn't run and it just you know, stays there. The thing is when it was announced that you can uninstall Microsoft Edge in some European countries, at that time it was actually pretty easy to uninstall Microsoft Edge from any country. You had to tweak some uh, registries and you had to edit this simple file called uh, integrated services region policy set JSON file. Yeah. I even did a tutorial on this way back in like almost a year ago. Now this thing doesn't work. Okay, and there is a second thing called uh, MS Redirect. This has a feature called Europe Mode, which also doesn't work anymore. So basically, Microsoft is still trying to make Microsoft Edge uninstallable for rest of the world except some European countries. And this tool hasn't been updated for a while now. It's been almost a year and we haven't got any new updates. This is actually a pretty cool uh, tool uh, available at GitHub, which can do lots of things, but this is the main thing like for my use case or whoever wants to uninstall Microsoft Edge. Simply, you know, there is this thing called Europe mode. You can enable this so you'll have European features like you can uninstall Microsoft Edge and some other uh, unwanted features like Bing and all that. So. This thing doesn't work because we haven't got any updates. Nothing is working if you want to uninstall Microsoft Edge, but you can forcefully uninstall Microsoft Edge using some third party tools or just by using a uninstaller. Now you may have heard about this thing called auto unattend XML. Using this, you can automate the Windows uh, installation. Plus you can de bloat and all that, uh, change some settings before you even uh, install the Microsoft Edge. I did a video on this. So there is this, uh, option here make edge uninstallable basically when you select this option it will uh, change some settings here in the same json file and it will make the uh, you know microsoft edge uninstallable basically it will give you the european countries feature or whatever you want to call it okay so again in selected European countries, you can actually uninstall Microsoft Edge. So basically that thing is being integrated when you uh, select this option. Okay, this is a pretty cool feature, but guess what? Even this thing is not working. It's actually working, but only on virtual machines. If you test this on virtual machine, yes, it makes the Microsoft Edge uninstallable. But when you install the Windows 11 on actual hardware, nothing works. Microsoft is like really strict about this. They don't want you to uninstall Microsoft Edge. So, okay, I don't want to forcefully uninstall it because in some future updates it will get back or I don't know. I don't use Microsoft Edge. Maybe I'll get rid of it and all that. Now let's talk about the main point of this video. What happens when you uninstall the Microsoft Edge? Okay, many people think that it will break the system and many things will not work and all that. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, so in this Windows installation, the Microsoft Edge is actually uninstallable. So if I go into the apps, installed apps, and uh, go into the Microsoft Edge, and here you can see <laughs> I have the uninstalled option. So now uh, let's actually uninstall it. 
and let's see what happens because I already know what happens. OK, many people think that this is just going to completely, you know, break the system and all that. But that is not true. <laughs> OK, if that's true, then what's going to happen to the European countries where you can actually uninstall Microsoft Edge? <laughs> you think that they're going to break the system? No, 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 no. They are, it's it's a optional feature for them. If they don't want to use Microsoft Edge and any of the features related to Microsoft Edge, they have the option to uninstall it. So that's it, okay? When you uninstall Microsoft Edge, actually, I'm gonna do it right now, okay? So let's uninstall it. It's it's gone, okay? So now if I, uh, yeah, it's, it's taking time. Okay, it's gone, okay? Now, uh, if you use widgets, uh, you know, a lot of the widgets won't work because uh, a lot of the widgets are actually from the Microsoft Edge. The news and all that, you know, those are from the Microsoft Edge. But the widgets panel actually works. Nothing happens. It doesn't get broken. Okay, if you go uh, into the plus icon and then click on add here, you can add all the non Microsoft Edge related widgets still and it this thing actually works okay and you can also download more widgets so it's basically again as i said a optional feature in european countries which the other countries aren't getting <laughs> i think these are all widgets let's let's get this spotify or i have to install this spotify to get the widget right okay spotify is working i guess this is not a web app or it's not you know integrated with the microsoft edge i'm just going to download it let's take a look at the microsoft clip champ this is a free video editor and this thing is actually really good i have to make one tutorial video in this because there is one really cool feature in this video editor that nobody is talking about and i think most people don't even know about it i'll, I'll make a tutorial on that so yeah even though this thing is a web app it's working without the Microsoft Edge. Now we have the Spotify here. Pin. Yes, Spotify is here. Uh, I'm not going to play the music, but yeah, here it is. The only thing that will be missing here are the things that came from the Microsoft Edge. I'm going to disable that notification so it doesn't annoy me. So yeah, widgets still works. Now let me show you guys something else. I'm gonna download the Copilot, the Microsoft Copilot. I can't download this because this app only works with if the Microsoft Edge is installed. Installing Microsoft Edge doesn't change your default browser. Your experience might be affected. Why? <laughs> I mean, we have so many web browsers. Uh, we can choose whichever browser we like. I don't know <laughs> if the Microsoft Edge is not default browser then the experience will be affected hello how I don't get it but yeah there are some apps on the Microsoft Store which actually requires uh, Microsoft Edge because they don't want to work with other web browsers whatever Microsoft Edge can do Google Chrome can also do like we can also install Microsoft Copilot on Google Chrome it should work but Microsoft don't like that they want to promote and they want to force you to use the Microsoft Edge and the Copilot thing that we are installing from the Microsoft Store actually let's install it when we install this uh, it's going to automatically install the Microsoft Edge too. Look at that. Okay. So then it's going to, you know, this is just a web app. Nothing too fancy. Uh, do I have Chrome? Actually, I have Firefox. I can also use this on Firefox. Microsoft Copilot. Just go to the website. Boom. It works. Okay. If you're using this on Google Chrome, you can also install this as a app, which is basically a same thing that we are installing right now so that's it that's what happens when you uninstall the microsoft edge there are some features that will be missing like i installed microsoft edge and now you can see there are a bunch of uh like uh, widgets here this is actually single widget this is basically a microsoft edges uh, front page widget okay which gets pinned automatically and you can see 
bunch of news and all that, which I don't care. Uh, even if you uninstall the Microsoft Edge, it's not going to break anything. So in my opinion, if you don't use anything like related to Microsoft Edge on Windows, you can uninstall Microsoft Edge. It, it do doesn't matter. L look at my main system. I don't use widgets. I don't use Copilot. Okay. Whenever, if I need to, I use web browser because it's the same thing. Uh, actually, I don't even use Copilot. Sometimes I use it, but I use more like Gemini or ChatGPT. There is a ChatGPT official application and all that, which is like far better like, than the Copilot, Microsoft Copilot. So there is nothing that I actually use which requires Microsoft Edge. So it doesn't matter for me if I uninstall Microsoft Edge, but if you use something that requires Microsoft Edge, like the Copilot, something, you shouldn't uninstall Microsoft Edge. Again, as I said, I don't use Microsoft Edge because uh, it's not good for my use case because it uses more CPU and RAM uh, whenever I use the Microsoft Edge for my specific use case. Yeah, even though I have this thing uh, on my system, I'm actually planning to get rid of it completely. But there is one more thing that Microsoft is doing with the Microsoft Edge is that it's making a widget for game bar and that widget is actually really cool for gamers whenever you you're gaming you can browse the internet watch youtube videos and all that you can do all those things without leaving the game it's 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 like a overlay on top of your game whenever you need it just hit the uh, shortcut key like windows and g and yeah it's pretty cool but still uh yeah, maybe for that use case, I might keep the Microsoft Edge, but rest, no, I'm not gonna use Microsoft Edge for anything else. I don't know, I have said this <laughs> multiple times in the past, we should have a freedom to uninstall it or keep it, okay? If we like the product, obviously we're gonna keep it. But if we don't like the product, like for example right now, I don't really like the Microsoft Edge, but I can't uninstall it because I don't have that option. So it's like, I don't have the freedom. I'm being forced to keep the Microsoft Edge <laughs> on my system. This is what happens when you uninstall the Microsoft Edge. Literally nothing happens, okay? Your system will run fine unless you really want to use uh, like the Microsoft Edge related uh you know applications or features or something whenever you know you want to use them it will auto download the microsoft edge it's not like you can never use those features you can and it will auto download microsoft edge whenever you need it okay so that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something about the microsoft edge you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.